bird's been out of the oven for about 20-25 minutes resting under foil loosely covered. We don't want the skin to get soggy, but we want to hold the heat in. We took the bird out of the oven after about two and a half hours. This was a 16-17 pound bird. It actually done pretty, got done pretty quickly. Uh, roasted it for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes a pound at 325. Took the, took the bird out when the breast meat hit 150 degrees. That's a lot lower than a lot of recipes will tell you, but trust me, it's completely done. After the bird got out of the oven, it was resting. The temperature climbed up to about 160. Uh, now it's dropped a little bit. Uh, it's time to carve. Oh, look at that. Take the temperature probe out. Done with this guy. Now, I've got a nice cutting board here. This is uh, designed specifically, it's a carving board more than a regular cutting board. You see it's got a place for the gravy to go. If you don't have one of these, what you can do is just take a smaller cutting board and put it in a cookie sheet, a rimmed cookie sheet or a half sheet pan like this and carve right on a board like this and the gravy, or the gravy, the juice, will go right into the, um, right into the pan. And of course, we have our turkey plate. Let's see, come out of camera. It's not wrong camera. Turkey right there, very nice. Okay. You may wonder why we have a spoon inside our turkey. This was to conduct heat in while it was cooking. Conduct heat to the inside of the bird makes it cook a little bit faster. This bird is still pretty warm, but I can pick it up with my bare hands. Look at how crispy it is. All right, tools of the trade. Nice long carver. This is a 10 inch carver. This is very good for slicing. It's not great for taking a bird apart. So for that, we use either a boning knife or a chef's knife. Okay, I like to use the chef's knife. It's a good all-purpose knife for doing the heavy work and then when we get into the detail work we can use the boning knife. First thing I want to do is get the wings off. Really simple because you're just going to cut into, you see, into the breast. Basically what you can do hair and the joint becomes quite apparent. If you've seen our deboning a chicken or taking apart a chicken video, it's really the same. Beautiful. Now, wings on a turkey are pretty big. This part has no edible meat, so this goes into the stock pot. This part can be cut in half and right between the joint you cut onto the plate. Beautiful. Okay, now the leg and the thigh come right off. Now, very easy, right? Just like a chicken, just skin. It separates easily. You peel it back. You can hear it snapping. Get right in there. And the joint pops right apart. And you're going to cut right in between the socket, pry it apart with the knife. You're actually, you can actually just pull it apart with your hands. It just comes right apart. And there you go. Right down very easily between the leg and the thigh. Look for the joint. There it is. Beautiful. What a beautiful drumstick. Now, Let's carve the meat from the thigh. I like to cut across the grain the way you would with a flank steak or anything that has a noticeable grain and not hack this into bits. We want it to look pretty nice. So, take your boning knife. Here's the thigh bone. So, it's the only time you ever want to hold a knife with your finger along the blade. Nice slice. Nice slice, this meat is really hot. Go along the bone on one side, 
scrape it a little bit along the bone on the other side and twist it. Jesus, that's high. And slide the knife under the bone. Twist it a little bit. I'm burning my hands. And pull the bone right out. Comes, oh God, this is so nice. Right out, okay? Into the stop pot. Got a little knob of inedible cartilage here. That comes right out. Stop pot. Now you have a lovely, wow, nice filet of dark meat. Now you can make nice slices for the plate. Now, sometimes the skin is a little bit hard to get through. So that's when you bring out your trusty electric knife. If you have one of these, they're great for this purpose. If you don't, don't rush out and buy one. But because uh, the blades move in opposite directions, they won't get snagged up on the meat. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely dark meat. Wow. It's great. Okay. Now this juice is a nice red color from the herbs. It's not bloody. It's not rare. You can see it's fully, completely cooked. It's not gelatinous. It's not not raw, it's fully cooked. All right, now the breast. The classic way that you used to see in all the Norman Rockwell paintings is people going like this. This is a perfect way to shred the breast. Take it off in one huge piece like a football. Find the breastbone, cut straight down. Straight down and feel your way along the bone. You're going to carve out in a J motion. Take the whole piece off in one giant Peel it away, get in there. It's so hot, the skin is peeling off my thumb. Okay. One giant piece. There you go. Lovely. Very moist. You can see how moist it is. See the juice? The juice is clear. It's completely cooked. Unbelievably juicy. Why? Because we seasoned it up. It's a brined injected bird, and we only cook the breast meat to 150 degrees. The slight pinkness you see on the bone is because these birds are killed very, very, very young. It's not because the bird is undercooked. Trust me on this. Okay? Now, beautiful slices, just like this. Okay? Unbelievably moist and juicy. No excuse for dry white meat ever. If your white meat is dry, you've overcooked it. Don't do this. Bird gave its life for you. Do not dishonor the bird by overcooking him. Okay, again, the meat, the skin is very crispy. It's sometimes hard to get through. If your knife won't get through it, that's what these are for. on this side. Boom. Wingtip and the sock pot. Leg and thigh off. Keep your fingers bent under so you don't cut your fingers off. I've done that. Lovely little nugget of meat. Very special piece. Almost 100% fat. Delicious. Peel it back. Screeching hot. If it doesn't fit, break it into the stock pot. You shall start your soup now so you can have it in the refrigerator by the end of the evening. No waste. That's Thanksgiving dinner. That's soup. Have a good Thanksgiving. See you later.